And um, now let's uh, move to another tool that uh, you can use to uh, study when I'm not here. The computer is going to be your trainer, automatic trainer. So I will show you how, uh, how we can do it. I will just uh, activate the trainer and I will do the study for you, okay? <clears throat> so uh, here the machine uh, gives you the task, which is uh, find mid-esophageal five-chamber view. We did not really discuss five-chamber view yet, but this is very, very similar to four-chamber. I'm just pulling it back. You see this is four-chamber. And if I pull a little bit higher, you see the, the background is getting blue now. And if I go to the view that I'm supposed to obtain, it goes green. So this is, the, and uh, machine automatically says, okay, this is uh, good. And now we go, go to the next view, which is the four chamber view. Mm -hmm. So here is the view that you are going to achieve. Here is the plane that is showing you how the heart is cut here. And this is your current plane. So if I move, you see it's moving live. And moreover, you have here suggestions. If you are really lost, you may use it to really adjust the planes and get the best possible image. So for if I have five chamber now, I want to go more posterior, right? Look at, look at the image here. I'm not coaxial with the model, right? So we have to do retroflex. Retroflex. And the machine suggests, okay, this is the zone where you, can, you should be trying to be. And you see, I'm getting green color and it's done. The next one will be the mitral intercommissural. So I will just keep this view here and I will rotate the plane to 60 and you will see the intercommissural. Okay, now two chamber view, 90 degrees and it's good. Now mid esophageal long axis view of the mitral valve and so on and so on. So using this type of training, you can, uh, you can uh, try to uh, obtain the best possible images according to the, let's say, uh, standard that was here uh, established for this patient. And you here see the uh, ascending aorta long axis view. Now it's going to be short axis view and so on and so on. So by this, you can very easily and quickly uh, practice uh, without having a teacher uh, near to you. So, so you can, you can... The order of the views is slightly different, yes? Yes, so, so the order is uh, according to American Society of Echo, which is great. Um, well, I think it's, it's, it's a good uh, order, of course, but uh, uh, for, from some point of view, it's, it's uh, uh, good to slightly modify it to to learn quick, quicker. And now by cable view. So you see, uh, after, let's say, five minutes, I did all the important views for this training, right? So you can practice yourself. And um, uh, if you finish, you can also take a test. You see, I was uh, practicing, and now and the machine is creating a report which will tell me, oh, of course I failed because I stopped at, in the middle uh, portion of the protocol. I, I was about to, to do 21 images. I did only 10 in five minutes, no, oh, three minutes and seven seconds. And here you see the images that I uh, uh, achieved uh, with the time that was needed to do that in seconds and also precision in percent showing me how precise I was uh, getting those images. Of course, I skipped all the others, that's why I failed. But this report can be used also to improve your skills. So you can do it once and then train and then repeat once again after some time. You can do it for many patients. And then I, I assure you, if you do it uh, for several hours or repeat it several days afterwards, you will have good skills to start the real examination mm -hmm. without any problem. Mm -hmm.